So do you know what this type of furniture is called? I know it's bull furniture, but we don't know how to spell it or what variation of spelling it is. Because you get different spellings, yes. That's right. oh. It's actually B-O-U-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Right. After André Charles Boulle, who was a designer and furniture maker working in the court of Louis XIV in the late 17th century. How long has this been in the family? I'm trying to date it. Um, my husband's family were mill owners and they built the big house in 1828 and this, I think, is the original furniture. It's been in there since 1828. I think. <laughs> I think it just misses that date. Yep. I think, though, that this is a French one and it must be a bit later, 1845 or something like that. I can't quite see it as being as early as the 1820s. Uh, where's it been? It looks like it hasn't been used for a long time. Um, they've all been in a room upstairs under wraps. They haven't seen the light of day for, oh, 40 odd years. Well, it's a wonderful Dickensian image, isn't it? All <laughs> covered up and all getting very dusty. Because clearly it would all clean up a bit. You've got pieces missing. And if you yeah. uh, look at this, you can see where the brass is missing. You can see this material here, which is called tortoise shell. Right. So under here, and if you cleaned it with olive oil, which I don't recommend you do yourself, but you'd see it would be a sort of deepish browny right. colour, almost with a red coming through. Yep. And in fact, it's nearly always turtle shell. Oh, right. People popularly think that this black furniture was mourning furniture. Yep. But no, it wasn't. It was a very popular style, competing with the Chinese black export furniture yes. of the 1830s and 40s. Became very, very popular indeed. And this good quality metal work, not the best, but good quality, nicely sculpted, with a very good face in the front here on yep. either side. You've got a draw on one side, blank on the other side stands well, looks good, and this is better than most. So a piece like this, what do you think it would bring? A couple of hundred. Mm -hmm. A couple of hundred? Three, four, a couple of thousand. Kidder. A really? couple of thousand pounds, certainly. Just this single piece on its own. Right. Cleaned up in an antique shop with the restoration done, five and a half thousand pounds. <sighs> but also this is yours, I understand, as well. Yes. Yep. Now, this looks like it's had a, a rough life. Has this been stuck in the same Dickensian room? No, it was in the cellar for 50 years, I think. <laughs> I've never seen it. It's the first time it's been outside. And I think I'm the only one in the family that likes it. I love it. I think, I think it's, it's great. Because what is interesting for me, it's the same period as the Bull Table. All right. It's the Bull right. Revival. This is the Romantic Revival of the 1840s. The sculptor here is Theodore Gechter, who was a very, very good sculptor. He's cleaning up his signature a bit. And this is a French romantic, he's one of the crusaders, Charles Martel. And this is the king of the Saracens, about to have his life terminated by that axe in his nice. back. And here you have a couple of camp followers in their mighty armour, holding up these wonderful Roman-like standards with all their trophies. Because I think you've got a garniture here worth, cleaned up, retail, £8,000. 8000 8000 I think I did it in the sale. <laughs>